what is going on everybody my name is nico and welcome back to another video today we are going to be talking about something that's kind of interesting related to pokemon in terms of the future of the remakes and i think this is interesting especially because right now you know everybody's focused on scarlet and violet so this might have slipped under a lot of people's radars but this could potentially mean that there is a dedicated studio that will be working on the future remake projects for Pokemon like Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. And I think this is a really, really interesting topic of conversation because that means that Game Freak is left to do more side stuff like Legends Arceus. That was really cool, really innovative, and it's going to allow them to create more fun projects like that while other companies work on their old remake stuff. So I think this is really, really interesting. But before we get into it, as always, you know, if you like energy drinks, Dubby is a really, really good jittery, jittery, blah, 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 I can't even speak, jittery -less energy drink. I think I said that right. I don't know. But you don't get the jitters from this stuff. It, it's good, clean energy. It, you just throw it in some water, no sugars. It, it's really good stuff. 10% off with code Nico. I drink it every day. I love it. Okay, so what this is is that bandai namco forms a new studio with pokemon developer ilka i think this is super super interesting and this article comes from nintendo life i will have it linked in the description if you guys want to check it out um but the pokemon brilliant diamond and shiny pearl developer ilka who also worked on pokemon home is working on the next entry in a long-running ace combat series and as part of this it's established a new company with bandai namco known as bandai namco aces it's headquartered in Shinjuku, Tokyo, Japan. Bandai Namco owns 51% of the studio and Ilka owns 49%. The aim is to deliver deep and lasting high quality content in quotes, including Ace Combat games. The tweet reads, Bandai Namco and Ilka have jointly created a new company, Bandai Namco Aces. Ilka CEO Takuya Uwasaki is the president and CEO, while Ace Combat brand director Kazutoki Kono is the executive vice president. It appears this company will lead development on the next Ace Combat. Now, what does this mean in particular? Well, apart from Pokemon and Ace Combat, Ilka has supported projects like Dragon Quest, Nier Autonoma, Yakuza, Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, and even other Bandai Namco games like the upcoming release One Piece Odyssey. So, what this means is that in in my opinion okay so based on how the previous remake went whether you liked brilliant diamond shining pearl or not the game sold incredibly well the game performed and that's what's important to the pokemon company and i personally enjoyed it quite a bit i really liked pokemon brilliant diamond shining pearl i know it wasn't a perfect pokemon game it wasn't what a lot of people wanted out of it i had a great time with it between playing through the story doing all the side stuff the cute art style doing some single battles here and there i had a very good time with pokemon brilliant diamond shining pearl the game performed incredibly well i think that this means that they are going to continue moving forward with more remakes of this nature now I don't think that Bandai, Bandai Namco Aces is the one working on this. I think this is kind of cool just from the sense that, for one, Bandai Namco has already worked on Pokemon games before. They worked on New Pokemon Snap as well as Pokemon Tournament. So they are already familiar with the Pokemon branding. Also, Ilka obviously made Burly Diamond Shining Pearl as well as Pokemon Home. So there's a lot of Pokemon influence right there. So I could definitely see this particular company making future pokemon projects that are not remakes so something in the vein of pokemon snap or pokemon tournament where it's this kind of spin-off game however i don't think they're going to be working on the remakes i think the point of this particular studio more or less is to kind of outsource a lot of these other projects like obviously they said they're working on the next uh ace combat game you know there's other projects that ilka is working on outside of pokemon and what they can do is instead of having to focus that internally and work on all these games at once they can send these other games over to the aces project and then they can make those games over there. They can make whatever, you know, Ace Combat, whatever it may be over there. They can make a little extra money and continue working on the Pokemon games internally. And that's what I have a feeling is going to happen. This is more of a side project type deal. I think it's a little interesting because they're only getting 49% of the uh, company. They only own 49%. 
and the CEO of Ilka is taking over as lead on this uh, Aces team. I think it's very interesting. However, I just, for me, what this means is they had too much on their plate and they needed help. And because of Bandai Namco's influence with Pokemon already, they're able to take on these additional Pokemon projects and work with companies that already know what's going on, somebody that the Pokemon company already trusts for other outside Pokemon projects, and then they can still focus on the internal you know remakes that's my prediction now obviously i could be wrong and the aces team could be working on the remakes moving forward but i i almost feel like they're doing it to cover the other games that they already had contracts for and they want to work on the remakes internally that would be my best guess because those remakes sold incredibly well they did it whether you like it or not they did a good job with the art style yes the game was a little buggy it, it's all patched it's not a huge deal the, the games are still solid pokemon games and I think that that's just what is going to happen moving forward. But this is something I wanted to bring up because I find it so interesting. I just think that this little merger is super cool because of both companies' involvement with the Pokemon franchise in the past. And I, like I said at the start of the video, with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on the way, it, this is something that would go under a lot of people's radars and something that people just wouldn't notice. So that is going to be it for this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below what do you guys think do you think that ilka is going to continue working exclusively on the pokemon remakes internally or do you think bandai namco bandai namco excuse me is going to get their hands in on some of these remakes and kind of get some of that pokemon money running i'm very curious what everybody thinks i think this is a really interesting development I, i'm curious to see what becomes of it but all in all i think this is something really really neat and unless you're like really paying attention something you wouldn't have noticed but that is going to be it for this video guys i hope you found it entertaining and helpful if you did leave a like smash that subscribe button for more pokemon stuff from me in the future but until next time i'll see you in the next one peace